I admit it's been a long time since I said I was going to do a review on the actual use of this fish finder. So I'm going to try and summarize today briefly. This is the Lucky Color uh, Portable Fish Finder. That's misleading. It's not really color. It has a blue light that turns on so if you're using it at night it has a backlight but really the color is irrelevant. Basically my opinion of this is that it is good for showing the depth of the water where you're at. Now it does come with a 25 foot cord however if there is any current that's going to pull the uh, the sonar unit at an angle so you're not going to get an accurate reading. Now if you're drifting with the current and it's hanging straight down that will give you a good depth and I have determined that the depth is pretty accurate. Now I don't have any way of proving whether the fish are there or not. Uh, I, I suspect that they are but figuring out where they are is tricky. Again this is a sample it's, it's showing that there's a, a rock formation or something and some plants but they're not where they say they are on this screen they're just in that 45 degree cone shape. Hopefully that was helpful. So to change from meters to feet, right now, there's a small M there you can see in the upper right hand corner. You'll push the enter button and hold it down. And you'll see that will change or start flashing. Once it starts flashing, it'll move up to feet. Push it again, it goes back to meters. I want it on feet, so I'll push enter again. And then just let go of the button and after about four or five seconds, it will lock in and you'll see. Okay, now it's locked in for feet. What I was saying earlier, there are plants here and uh, little symbols that represent rocks or whatever it might be. It's not really going to tell you where below, where in the water below you that is. It's a 45 degree cone that goes down and so somewhere in that 45 degree cone is where those objects are. Okay, let me turn on sample mode and show you what I mean with the obstruction of the fish. Okay, now we're in sample mode. See, the fish always go from right to left. That really is not an indication of where the fish are. It's just saying in that cone-shaped areas where fish are. Now, these are deeper and more shallow, and there are little um, blocks here. To determine the depth of the fish, the scanner is actually reading from the top of the surface of the water down to where the fish are. So it's a little tricky. The example they give is in 20 meters. Let's say it's 20 feet. We'll switch it to feet. So what you have to do is divide the depth by 10. So if it's 20 foot deep divided by 10 that would give you the number 2. Then you count these boxes on the side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and you take that times 2 and that gives you from the surface how deep the fish are. So that would be 10 feet is what the indication is here. I know that's confusing. I don't bother with it. So I just know if, if I've got you know 20 feet of water and the indicator is about midway, then I'm going to guess it's about midway. But it is measuring from the top down. So the further this dot appears, the deeper the fish are. Okay, what this is going to do, it's going to drift down in the water. And if you're in a lake or a pond, that's fine. You can cast this out 25 feet. But my experience is that it still drifts back over to the boat. You can attach this to some sort of a pole or a post and hold it stationary. You know, you could um, attach it to the side of your boat and hold it in that position, but that is only recommended for less than five miles per hour because of the pressure put on it. But again, if you drift this in a current and you're anchored, it'll do this and won't give you a good reading. The other thing is your reading is cone shaped from here. So it goes out in a cone 45 degrees in every angle. 
It's not going to show you where the fish are in that. It's just going to show you the fish are possible or are in the area. It's not going to give you the amount of fish per se. And it always runs from right to left and that's no indication where the fish are. It's just saying that fish are in the area. For finding the depth, especially if you're fishing in the heat of the summer and you're on a small lake or a pond or large for that matter, it will let you know the depth pretty accurate that way. So that being said, I'm happy. As far as fishing with this from the shore, again, you can throw it out 25 feet, but my experience is that it drifts back in. So I, I don't think I would buy it for that type of use. If you have a small craft, a kayak, or a raft like I have, I think it can be useful. It will give you an idea of the depth of the water. If you want more information, look at some of my other videos on this when I unboxed it and did a, a, a early preview before I used it a few times on the water. But uh, that will give you a better explanation of, of how to operate the unit, how to turn it on, how to change from meters to feet, some things like that. That's in another video. I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. It's I'm retired and this is kind of a fun endeavor for me. I'm up to about 400 subscribers and I need a thousand just to see if it generates anything. So it's been fun. I've had over, uh, I think, 80,000 views. So that's pretty good and encouraging to me. Just need more subscribers. So my adventure continues with the inflatable raft, the outboard motor that I put on it, and some of the incidentals like this Lucky Fish Finder. I call it a depth finder instead of a fish finder, but I have found it useful. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll subscribe.